Hi, it's Pastor Mark here from BH1 Elim Church in Bournemouth. It's so good to be with you. We are so far into the lockdown now, I've no idea how far. It just seems that uh, one day moulds into the next, doesn't it? And every day seems to be the same at the moment. Nobody's really sure how far into this we are. But um, I wanted to take this opportunity, really, to share a few verses of Scripture with you uh, from a very, very well-known book of the Bible. This is uh, Psalm 23, which of course is, is so very well known. It's read at funerals and various different places like that. But it's not just reserved for that. It's a psalm that many, many people have drawn a lot of comfort from over the years in some very, very difficult situations and circumstances. And there is just six verses to this psalm. So what I want to do is Take one verse a day for the next six days, but I'm going to read the whole psalm to start with. So let's have a look at these words. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What incredible inspirational words, aren't there? Right now, people across this country are experiencing a range of emotions. They're experiencing fear, anger, loneliness, vulnerability, as well as sometimes positive emotions such as hope or even joy, especially when we hear stories of victory or triumph. For example, with the incredible actions of Captain Tom Moore and the phenomenal work that he's done, not only in raising money for the NHS, but in raising spirits, in raising hope, in raising determination and inspiration in the hearts of so many people. Emotions. If we look at the Psalms, virtually every Psalm that David penned was written from a very emotional perspective. And that's a good thing because David was the epitome of manliness and we should never be afraid or ashamed to be emotional or to express our emotions. That being said, David wasn't an emotional wreck. He was simply not afraid to express outwardly what was going on inside. And the Psalms are a wonderful example of how we can give every area of our lives over to God, the good times and the bad times. You see, David, he sings psalms of joy. He sings out his frustrations. He expresses love. He expresses wonder. He expresses worship. He even expresses anger and disappointment. You see, with God, we should never be afraid to express ourselves. Our expression brings enrichment from God. So what is David expressing here in this well-known psalm? Well, we can start by having a look at, a ba at the background to the psalm. What situation was David in when he wrote it? There's a school of thought that suggests that David penned this psalm whilst he was still a boy due to the obvious reference to shepherding and the fact that David himself was a shepherd boy. But if we look a bit deeper... We see that David references his enemies and language such as having his soul restored would suggest a more mature writer with a maybe a little bit of life experience behind him. So it's more likely that his shepherding illustration is drawing on more recent experiences in his life. The 23rd Psalm actually was probably written whilst David was in the midst of the civil war caused by his own son Absalom and his rebellion. Of course, David is going to be grief stricken. He's going to be heartbroken. It may well have been the darkest hour of David's life. Exactly how many of us feel that right now? In the midst of this war with the virus and the effects of the lockdown, we feel like we're at the darkest point in our lives. 
Uh, but this is where David was and he penned these incredible words through that darkest time. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. What does that mean? It means that David is showing utter trust and confidence in the Lord, in his shepherd. I wonder how many people over the years have been strengthened in times of sorrow or in times of bereavement or in times of heartache through these immortal words. God wants you to know today that you can cry out to him when things get tough, that he is your shepherd, that he will protect you, that he will provide for you, that we, he will keep you from harm. I wonder why David used the illustration of a shepherd to talk about God. You see, the trade of, of the shepherd was not really highly esteemed in those days. Shepherds were generally a bit of a rough breed who slept under the stars. They traveled hundreds of miles to find food, to find good pasture for their sheep, whilst they were themselves living off the land. So what does David make this comparison, this bold statement, the Lord is my shepherd? I think David is using what he knows. Shepherds were exceedingly tough. A shepherd would protect his sheep from harm when wolves and bears and lions came to feed on the sheep or when unscrupulous thieves came and outlaws came to steal the sheep. The shepherd would put his own life on the line to protect the sheep who were vulnerable. Also, the shepherd would feed his sheep. He would provide for his sheep. And we can know that sheep and shepherd relationship with God today. If we go into the New Testament and look at the words of Jesus himself, he says in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. I wonder, do we sometimes recognize the value of our salvation, the enormity of what Jesus did on the cross? We've just had Easter a couple of weeks ago when we focus and think about the work that Jesus did in his death and his resurrection on the cross. But it's not just applicable for Easter. It's applicable for every day of our lives. It's something which can bring us through every situation. You see, Jesus wasn't just giving us a ticket to heaven. He was laying down his life for us so that we might be safe from that which would devour us, from the thief who comes only to steal and kill and destroy. Let me ask you a question. What is the wolf in your life today? What is the thief that is stealing away your energy, your passion, your health, your relationship with God? Maybe even your life. Is it the lockdown? Is it the virus? Is it the loss of a loved one? Fear? For your job, fear for your livelihood, or maybe fear for your family. Jesus wants you to know today that he is your shepherd. He is tough, he is resilient, and he will not be beaten by this virus or by anything else. He will bring you through, loving you, sustaining you, protecting you, providing for you. You need simply acknowledge him and ask him to be your shepherd today. The Lord is my shepherd, David said. I shall not be in one. That's an invitation for you today. From the word of God, it's an invitation for you. Will you let him be your shepherd and recognize that you will not be in a place of want when you know him? We'll be back with more tomorrow. God bless you and be safe.